Okay, uh, Kevin says I have to be uh, enthusiastic, energetic, uh, full of great information. Oh, that's me. <laughs> anyway, diverse at Alec Pierce, scuba, uh, scuba and uh, <laughs> this is uh, Tech Tips. This is a brand new year. Kevin tells me this running, what is it, Series 5 or 6 or something silly? Series 6 coming up, and uh, you guys are being part of this. I want to thank you, first of all. Let me get, you take a chance right now, the beginning of a brand new year, to say thank you so much. Uh, for all the comments and suggestions and so on. And I'm, heck, you guys are all talking among yourselves now. This has turned into a forum, for gosh sakes. But anyway, I also at the same time want to apologize. When I started doing these tech tips two or three years ago, I very religiously answered each one. Oh, yes, thank you for your kind. Not a hope. Not a hope. I'm getting a, a, a dozen new subscribers almost daily. And um, and comments and suggestions on almost that many. I, mean, I just there's no way I can keep up. I'm going to have to quit my job in order just to take care of tech tips, which by the way is a very distinct possibility very soon. Anyway, logbooks. Now you might say yourself, "Boop, they do logbooks out of I know, you know, I got a logbook. I got one when I was uh, started, got certified. I don't know where it is now, but I know I got one. What's you going to talk about with logbooks? Well, number one, let's talk about why why you should have a logbook. And first of all, let me say that I think you should have a logbook. You should have a logbook. If you, if you have been diving for, let's pick a number. Have you been diving on a regular basis for more than 20 years? Then you would have a good reason not to use a logbook anymore. But if you've been diving one, two, three, four, five, ten years or so, you should have a logbook. I'm going to tell you why. I reached into my, uh, my uh, fighting cabinet at home once in a while and pulled up my logbooks from the 70s. And I love it. It's so much fun to sit down there. I remember that dive. Oh, that was, and what was that guy's name? Oh, yeah, he's gone now. I remember him. He was a good guy. We had so much. And I talk about the things that we saw. It's just fun. Number one is fun. Remembering the old dives you did. Number two, if you're going to be diving at a particular dive site and you know that you were diving there before, but you don't remember the details, you can pull your log and look up at Oh, yes, I go out and I make a left, and that's where the train wreck is and all that kind of stuff. So it can be, yeah, how much weight did I? It can actually be helpful to your diving if you look at your old logbooks. Third, the logbooks give an indication of your level of diving experience. Now you say, well, I've got a sea card. I don't need that. Oh, yes, you do. Many, many dive, in fact, more dive resorts and, and, and dive facilities around the world on a regular basis now are demanding to see that you have, within the past 24 months, two years, dive experience. They want to see that. And that's good. That's good that they do that. If you show your sea card, it's not an automatic pass. Sea cards last forever. You see? So if you show your sea card and you got certified 10 years ago, and you show it and he says, Well, that's really good. You've been diving a long time. That's great. You've been diving recently. That's a good question. Because even though a sea card lasts forever, your skill levels don't last forever. And they don't want to take you out on a dive, particularly if it's a fairly strenuous dive, maybe a bit deep or currents or something, unless they know that you are ready for that dive. What's the proof that you're ready for the dive? Recent diving experience. So you may have to take a refresher, or if you have a logbook that shows you've been diving. So you see, there's a number of reasons why you should keep a logbook. If you have any intentions of going on in your diving education to advanced diving or rescue, or for heaven's sakes, for sure, into leadership, you're going to have to have a logbook. If you want to become a dive master, you have to have proof of 60 dives. If you want to become an instructor, you have to have proof of 100 dives. What's the proof? No, not your buddy saying, oh yeah, no, 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 no. A logbook. Dates, times, places, signed, and so on. It's not a legal document. It's just proof of experience. You need to have one. So for most divers out there, I strongly suggest that you have a logbook and that you keep it up to date. It may after a while get to be a nuisance and you don't need it anymore, fine. But for, for, for quite a while, keep it. Now, this is a logbook. This is a logbook that most divers receive when they do their course. One like this, okay? And, and it's, it's, a, it's a diver's log and training experience. So this particular book has all your training experience. It has what you did in your open water dives, all that information, personal information. And then it has the logs that you actually log the dives as you go on. This is a pretty standard logbook. Has about holds about 50 dives, three ring punched, and it's got made of a semi waterproof paper. That's pretty standard. A couple of things about it. First of all, you should keep this one. Even if you fill this and you start another logbook, keep this original one. It's got all the dates and the times and the names and the numbers that you might need if you ever lost your C card, as an example. Secondly, it's plasticized paper, quite common. Great stuff. Semi waterproof. 
It's also hard to write on. Ah, yeah. Pencil doesn't show. Ballpoint pen smears. Uh, those those tip pens with the ink in them, they smear. Uh, 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 magic markers, they, you have to go out of your way to find a good quality pen and then hang on to that pen. That'll write on that plasticized paper, write neatly and cleanly and won't smear. They, they are available. You'll have to find one. A very, very fine tip, felt tip. Might do the be the best job. Give it a few minutes to dry before you close it. Anyway, this is your initial logbook. Now, keep in mind, if you didn't know this, that after you've finished, filled this logbook, that you don't need to buy the same one. You don't need the training record anymore. This is all your training records right up to Dive Master. It's all in this one book. You don't need that anymore. So when you go to replace your initial book, usually, depending on which agency you're with, certainly with Patty, this, this large agency, and you can get a, a diver's log, it's just a log, and right from page one, they're just logs. You keep right on going and you add another 50 or 60 logs and you keep on going. And so eventually you'll end up with three or four or five of these. We didn't have these when I started diving. They were little, little binders with loose leaf paper in them. So there's your typical dive log. Now, you can also get, these, these are not inexpensive, nothing from the agencies is inexpensive. You can get the same type of thing, it doesn't have to be this, the same type of thing like this for quite a bit less. It's exactly the same, but it has no brand name on it, you see. It's quite a bit less expensive. You don't have to buy those. But now the other way that you can do this, folks, is to, is, is divers is, is to get loose leaf papers. Some people still prefer loose leaf. I'm not exactly sure why. It's easy to lose, and, and and it's usually not as good a paper. But these are actually loose leaf pages that, that come apart. And same size holes. They fit into the same binders and so on. And you can also get those che cheaper as well. I don't, I'm not too sure. I've never used loose leaf pages recently. I haven't used them anyway. I'm not a big fan of them. Maybe because I used these 30 or 40 years ago and lost pages and they got torn, you know, the holes get torn and even you put reinforcements on. So I've never been a big fan of those. But if you are, you can get loose leaf pages rather than buying log books. What I really want to show you is what I think is a fantastic idea. I think it's a great idea. I use it. And I think you should use it. I think most divers should take advantage of this very simple but very effective idea. Yes, get yourself a binder. Get yourself a diver's binder. Call it a, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now this particular one, and there's different models available. This particular one has a smooth outside case, zippered closure. It floats. It's not waterproof. No, it's not designed. You're not really supposed to take your log book and so on onto a dive boat or underwater with you. No, certainly not. This is something you do back in the motel room or when you get back on the boat and so on when you fill them out. Uh, if you do want to take it with you in your in your dive bag, which gets wet, then for God's sakes, get a really good quality, a very thick freezer type Ziploc bag to put this in, because these are not waterproof. But why do I like these so much? Well, everything's in one place. You wouldn't believe the number of times we've had divers come with us on a dive boat, and I said, "Did you bring a sea card?" Or make sure you bring a sea card. He says, "Oh, my sea card. Yeah, I think that's in my is in my glove compartment. No, no, I just on my dresser. Ah, I know, I know, I'll find it." I said, okay, and, and your logbook too. Oh, my logbook. Yes, yes, my logbook is, uh, you see, and stuff is all over the place. That's why I like this. I wouldn't go anywhere with it. This is, this is my scuba diving file cabinet. Everything goes in here. So you see your logbooks fit right in there. Three ring binder. If you're a fan of loose leaf, they fit right in there. And you can put three or four or five logbooks in there. You see? So your logbooks fit right in here. Oh, look at what else. You can put your dive tables, if you have dive tables. You can put the instructions for your computer in here. You can carry your C-cards and your credit cards. You need both to go diving. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and you can carry the pens. There's a couple of pens. There's a big zipper pocket on the back. You can put receipts for the dive in there. So everything to do with your scuba diving can go into this one log binder. Everything's in there. And of course, you have your personal information, put a personal card in there with your information if it gets lost, and put it in there, and zip it up, and you got everything you need. But to do a scuba diving is in there in one spot. And they're great. If you have to drop it in the water, it floats, you can find it, it's brightly lit, and it's, it, these, are, these are fantastic. And they're cheap. 25 bucks or so will get you a really, really good log binder, just like this one. Good idea. Okay, guys. Last thing I want to mention is some people have said to me, well, I don't need a dive log because I have a computer. And my computer logs up to 100 dives. Yes, it logs the date, the time, the depth, and the amount of air that you used. That's what it logs, nothing else. It doesn't log the location, 
It doesn't log your buddy's name. It doesn't log the fish that you saw. It doesn't log many, many pieces of information that are very important. Those pieces of information are important for your enjoyment, and they're also important if you take your log to somebody who's verifying your experience. It doesn't say anything about your experience. Every dive you made, every 100 of those dives could have made the same place, same depth, same temperature, same amount. It could have been the same place. Only a logbook will, will show that you've got that range of experience and all the neat stuff. The time that you saw the big manta ray, the big one, not the 8-footer, the 16-footer. The time that you saw your first shark, not the nurse shark, no, the big tiger shark, the 20-foot tiger. Those are the things that only come from a logbook, not from a computer. So even if you have a computer, you should have a logbook. That's what I think. Anyway, I hope you saw something there of value to you. Go and see if your dive store doesn't have a filing cabinet for all your diving stuff, a dive binder. Great present too, by the way, for your best, your best diving buddy. Okay, that's it. Dive logs, Alec Pierce, Scuba, talk to you real soon.